All right, let me keep this brief. Here is how it unfolded. Back in June 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope unveiled countless distant galaxies when it produced its very first deep field image. Almost instantly, galaxies began emerging from the shadows of time and space, revealing their presence. For the first time, the universe appeared far stranger than scientists had imagined. Galaxies were surfacing from what we call the universe's dark ages, raising unsettling questions about the accuracy of our accepted cosmic model. And this was not just a handful of galaxies. The Webb telescope identified hundreds, including one discovered by Austin astronomer Stephen Finkelstein. He named it Macy's Galaxy, in honor of his daughter, since it was spotted on her birthday. At first, he and his team assumed that the galaxy had formed almost immediately following the Big Bang, at least on cosmic scales. They estimated its age at roughly 290 million years after the event. Yet further analysis with advanced instruments revealed it is about 100 million years older than their original estimate. Even so, this did not strip away its crown as the oldest galaxy ever found. Having formed only 390 million years after the Big Bang, Macy's galaxy now stands officially as the most ancient galaxy ever observed. But that celebrated record may not last very long. That is correct. Scientists currently have nearly 10 additional galaxies under review by the Sears team, any of which could prove to be older than Macy's galaxy. Imagine the implications if even younger galaxies appear on record. With each web discovery, the gap between the Big Bang and the emergence of the first stars and systems is shrinking more rapidly than ever. And this is hardly the only breakthrough made within just a year of Webb's launch. Recently, it has identified a type of star that until now existed only as a hypothesis. Yet NASA's powerful new lens on the universe may have finally captured evidence of it. With this revelation, our understanding of the cosmos shifts permanently. The James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered three candidate dark stars, powered not by fusion, but by annihilating dark matter particles. Yes, that is exactly what it sounds like. Dark matter, thought to make up the majority of the universe's content, cannot be observed with ordinary telescopes. Its existence is inferred through gravitational influences, such as when a massive galaxy magnifies light from a more distant star. And just as ordinary stars like our Sun are fueled by normal matter, dark stars may instead be sustained by dark matter particles. This is truly thrilling, as it might open a long-awaited doorway to answers about the universe. How so? If dark stars are indeed real, they could hold the secret to how the cosmos first became illuminated. Precisely. For roughly 15 years, scientists have suggested dark stars were among the very first objects born when the universe was only 700 million years old. Webb's data shows three faraway objects, formed early in cosmic history, that align closely with predicted traits of dark stars. These galaxies existed just 300 million years after the Big Bang, yet displayed mass and maturity typical of galaxies billions of years later. Even more curious, they are far smaller than astronomers expected, adding complexity to the puzzle. This leads us to Fritz Zwicky's tired light theory. According to it, cosmic redshift may not simply come from galaxies speeding away. Instead, the effect could be caused by light gradually losing energy during its cosmic journey. For decades, this theory clashed with accepted observations. Yet Gupta argues that if we allow it to coexist with expansion, redshift can be reinterpreted as a blend of both processes. But Gupta went further still. He proposed another concept inspired by physicist Paul Dirac's hypothesis regarding coupling constants. These are the fundamental physical principles dictating how particles interact. According to Dirac, these constants may have shifted over time. If we allow for their gradual evolution, then the window for early galaxies to form stretches from just a few hundred million years to several billion years. That could clarify why the galaxies we observe look so advanced for their apparent age. Next, Gupta questions the standard reading of the cosmological constant. Traditionally, it represents dark energy driving the universe to expand more rapidly. 
Instead, he introduces a fresh constant designed to incorporate the idea of evolving coupling constants. This adjustment might explain why those first galaxies appear smaller than anticipated. It also provides a sharper, more consistent view of the cosmos. In Gupta's own words, the revised model extends galaxy formation time by billions of years, suggesting the universe is 26.7 billion years old rather than 13.7 as previously thought. The universe may be far older than assumed, which could illuminate several long-standing mysteries. A prime example is the most recent discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope. It has revealed objects that astronomers themselves struggle to account for. From deep within the cosmos, Webb has captured light from 44 galaxies that formed during the universe's first 500 million years. Under the standard cosmological model, the universe is 13.8 billion years old. For stars to form and then galaxies within that short time frame is nothing less than a cosmic enigma beyond easy comprehension. But of course, the tale does not stop there. Webb's newest data also confirmed that the deeper one looks, the more galaxies seem to appear. Astronomers devoted 50 hours peering into the farthest regions of space and detected galaxies born almost immediately after the Big Bang. You can imagine their surprise when they learned that several of these 40 galaxies had already formed just 200 million years after the Big Bang. Yes, entire galaxies, not merely stars. Which makes it fairly straightforward to conclude that those stars must have existed significantly earlier than that. Now, let us move to the more captivating part. Indeed, the Superstar Telescope never ceases to deliver. Data from this observation revealed that these ancient galaxies radiated an astonishing level of energy into space, nearly 10 times more than scientists ever projected. To make sense of this, let us examine a deep field image captured by Webb's MIRI instrument. This panoramic view of the cosmos displays brilliant spiral galaxies in the foreground, and a staggering collection of much older galaxies in the distance. Practically everything visible here is a galaxy. When researchers zoomed into three highly red-shifted galaxies in the background, they realized these galaxies were releasing far more energy than anticipated. Findings also indicate they formed during the first 200 to 500 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was merely 1 to 5% of its current age. The pressing question then is, how could such galaxies emit such extraordinary energy into space? Scientists currently face only two plausible contenders. Black holes or gigantic stars, even larger than today's enormous red hypergiants, scattered across the cosmos. To address this puzzle, astronomers used advanced simulations to recreate how the universe evolved across billions of years, starting with the first stars and galaxies and leading to the eventual creation of organic elements essential for life. Yet here lies the irony. Despite their sophistication, these simulations could not account for such extreme ultraviolet emissions. So what explanation remains? Rajendra Gupta's revised model. Researchers are now probing his theory, and before long, the true mystery behind the universe's beginning may become clearer. But what about you? Share your own thoughts below. I will be waiting in the comments section, eager to read your perspectives on this cosmic puzzle.